Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to turn a PowerPoint presentation into an ebook. So, why would someone want to turn a PowerPoint into an ebook? Well, quite simply, it can be used as a cheat sheet or a resource sheet, something that the person can look back on and follow along with. And as they're doing your course, they can actually be looking at the cheat sheet as it goes along. This adds value to your customer because they can see they're getting extra for their money. Plus, it also gives them something to be able to take action on. Now, before we go ahead and do it, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So, if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Now, this is not going to be a very long video. However, there is a little bit to go through before we go ahead and do the turning into a ebook. There's a couple of things I need to show you first. So, let's go check it out. Okay, now in this section here, you're going to be able to see that we have a number of icons at the top here. And one, the one we really want to look for right now is this one right here, the Save As button. Now, if you don't know how to do that, or find that, it's a very, very simple process of just going to this here, which is in fact called Customize Quick Access Toolbar. Click on that. And this is the customized quick access toolbar. All we have to do is go down to the second bottom one, click on that, and that'll open up this dialog box. We go over here to where it says popular commands, we click on that, and then we go down and we hit all commands. We wait for this slide bar to shrink right down. Then we go down to save as. So we look for the save as button. And go down here, keep going down. That'll be one of the first ones up here. So you can see save, save, and then save as. And you can also save as other formats if you wish to. But I just have it as save as. You just click on that, you then hit add, and then you hit OK. But because we already have it, I don't need to do that. So that's the first step out of the way. Now, the next thing you need to do is go over here to the design section. Now, let's assume you've got your PowerPoint ready. It's been, you've done your PowerPoint presentation, you've, you've recorded all your videos about it, and you're ready to now turn this into a cheat sheet for your customers. And you've got images here, you've got various other things here. You can look through, you've got some images going on there. You might want to expand those up to make them a bit bigger. You know, and you can have a look at what you've got there. You can um, do what needs to be done to make it look a bit more professional with your with your presentation. I mucked around with this earlier, so that's why it's shrunk down in size. And then you can go through and you can just have it here and you can see what it's like. And it's all ready to go. And you have got your images and you've got various other things right here. So, all you need to do is going over here to design, you click on that. And over here, you can see where it says slide size. Click on that. We're going to go down here to custom slide. Now, let's just assume that you're wanting to turn this into either an 8.5 by 11 or a 6 by 9. So let's turn this into a 6 by 9. And then we can hit OK. We want to make sure that it in ensures fit. The reason we do that is so as it'll all fit within the page. And you may need to do a little bit of editing just to make it work. But you have a look at what we have to do. All we have to do is go, go ensure fit. Wait a moment. And here it is. It has just literally just turned this into a ebook for you. All you then need to do is save it as a PDF. And you can now format this to how you like it, add extra colors to it, you can make 
obviously make the words larger so they're easier to read. You can then go over here, separate some of the points, and just do some basic formatting. And once you've done your basic formatting, it doesn't take long, and this can then become an extra resource for your client. You might want to put this down here, maybe drag this over here and make it larger so as they have more room and you can then make it bigger and you can make it easier for your customers to read especially if you have points like that you can centralize it and just you know what you know how to basically format how you want it you can just make it any way you like and just do it that way and then making sure you give yourself enough room on either side if you decide to want to include this as part of an ebook that you've created and you maybe want to sell it as a package on Amazon KDP. So if you want to do that, you can also make sure you can format this in such a way that it's professional looking. And have a look at that. Isn't that lovely? And it tells you what's there. You can move it up, you can put it there, you can leave it as it is if you wish to. And you've got all these points here and you can use it as a cheat sheet or whatever, a resource sheet. And also you can include your resource sheets in here. So as you can see, these are clickable links just here. And you can click on those and you can actually get sent to a site. In this particular case, it's going to take you to see a Blue Yeti on Amazon. Just like that. All right. That is as simple as that. Now all you need to do, the reason I got you to download the Save As button, is so as you can click on here, click on that, wait for a moment, and say for example you have a place you want to save it. Let's say you have it on another drive somewhere, and then I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to scroll down to the folder that I'm recording this video on. How to easily turn a PowerPoint into an ebook. You just click on that. And then what we are going to be doing is we're going to be saving it as a PDF. So what I did was I clicked on where it says PowerPoint presentation. All I did was click on that and scroll right up to where it says PDF and hit save. This may change the way it looks. A little bit but we'll find out once it's turned it into a PDF now here it comes it's just turning it into a PDF now and you've got your cover page whoops it is here we are all right so as you can see it's turning it into a PDF for you now one more thing I forgot to tell you you notice that I had a blank page at the very top now the reason I did that is because I want to insert a cover sheet now I'm gonna go here this device we'll wait for this to finish what it's doing and we'll grab the other image we'll grab this one here that's the one we want cost structure and we can click it up here drag it across and just fill it out so as it takes up the entire page and then all we have to do is read save it again as a PDF now I'm going to just save this again, wait for this to wake up. Put a creation jackpot core structure. And we just go to, back down to where we were going to be saving it. Down to that area we were. Going back here. And we can scroll down to where the course was. How to easily turn a PowerPoint into an ebook. Wait for that to come up making sure it's PDF, go here, wait for a moment and then hit that and yes we want to replace it and in just a moment it will replace the other ebook and as you can see it now has its cover and it's 33 pages long so as you can see it's now got quite a bit of information in it and it's now completely covered as a cheat sheet and it is as simple as that 
and it's yeah, looking pretty good. It looks very much like how I wanted it. And there you have it. Okay, guys, that's all there is for this video. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not share? Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.